The war had been over for three years when I was reassigned to the Barons. It was where the war ended, where the rebels were defeated. Now, it's a prison. After the war, the prisons were full of cheap workers, rebels who had refused to sign the surrender armistice. The government's first priority, clearing the massive minefields left over from the war. Did she hit you? No, sir. Makes no difference. Easy, Darren. That's not gonna help her. Next time, it'll be a bullet girl. Now get a move on! All of you! Your life like an idiot. We'll do, Captain. We're doing it more. We're good to go. This is Papa Foxtrot. Papa Foxtrot. Two five. You read me. Oh, multiple combatants. Let's go! Jack, you okay? You alright, Jack? Yeah, I'm alright. Sure. You agree to supply me the current location of the 3rd Battalion of the Rebel Division in exchange for a guarantee of safety for yourself, along with the clearing of all records connecting you to the Rebellion. Yes, sir. Show me. Got a problem? Private? Yes. What are you gonna do, man? Shoot me? Yes. You threatened a fellow soldier at gunpoint, Owens. Lieutenant Borden is your superior officer. You know that during war, that would have warranted death by a firing squad. I know, sir. Then why did you do it? 
Lieutenant Borden would have set off a mine under a prisoner, sir. Mines get set off under prisoners all the time. That's what they're there for. Those prisoners are our best bomb squad. You lose them, you delay work for months. That bomb squad is made up of the former soldiers of Company B, 3rd Battalion, Rebel Division. Remind me what company you were attached to. I would prefer not to answer that, sir. I was under the impression that my records had been erased. Answer the question! Company B, 3rd Battalion, sir. Would you say that your prior service with these rebels affected your judgment in this matter? I did what I thought best, sir. But I must do what I think best. Jack Owens, you are hereby dishonorably discharged from the Imperial Armed Forces and sentenced to 10 years hard labor in the Barrens, effective immediately. Lieutenant Borden, escort this man to the control room for immediate transport to cell block D. Back where you belong, Jack. Let me show you how we treat scum like you. <laughs> You're in the way, scum. Decidedly. Man saved my life yesterday. Worth taking a pistol. On who died in war. Don't try and respect him. Every action has a price, Jack. Yours costs us our freedom. Do you see that now? I had no choice! You agreed to supply me the current location of the 3rd Battalion of the Rebel Division in exchange for a guarantee of safety for yourself, along with a clearing of all records connecting you to the Rebellion. Yes, sir. Show me. Excellent. Lieutenant Borden, get this man a uniform. Congratulations, Mr. Owens. You just made private. You always have a choice, Jack. No matter the situation, you always have a choice. What would you have done? I don't know, Jack. I do know that there was a man who, when faced with a similar choice, decided to lay down his life for me and for you. And all I can do is live to honor his memory each day of my life. You don't have to tell me. I know. I just wish I could right the wrong I've done. You know that's not how it works, Jack. All you can do is try to live your life in light of the greatest sacrifice. Take 
not let Peter's death go unnoticed. We should have escaped a long time ago. You're forgetting that our last attempt to escape only heightened the security. We're not getting out again. We could take our chance crossing the minefield. That would be suicide. There's still a mile of mines to the north. I'm not risking it, that's for sure. But what other choice do we have? I might know a way. If you could forgive me enough to give me a second chance. Jack, you're a traitor. Which one of us do you think is going to forgive you, let alone trust you with their lives? I would. Jack Owens betrayed us all. But who are we to not forgive him? Peter knew that. So do I. Welcome back. Let's hear your plan. We use a transporter to jump out. It normally requires a key to change the coordinates, but I could hotwire and reset it to the coordinates if I had enough time. Where would you go? Anywhere within 50 miles. Plenty of running room. Can you really hotwire the transporter? Yes. I was the tech operator in my battalion. The transporter is an old G9 model, which means it'll reset if it can't rescramble after it loses power. If I can jam the codex, kill the power, and then reboot it, the coordinates will have to be manually reset. I type in the new ones and we're clear. That sounds like it will take time. It will, which is where you come in. There will be three guards in the control room for the evening shift, all armed with handguns and tasers. They won't be afraid to use both. But if you lock and keep them occupied for three minutes, that'll give me the time I need. Consider it done. Good. Now I need to know what to set the coordinates to. There's a rebel station about four to three miles to the south where we were sent to go detonate about three months back. Of course, we conveniently forgot to check the basement for hidden arms before we detonated the rest of the building. I'm pretty sure there's an old transporter in the basement. We could always hop another 50 miles out or so. That's good. They're expecting us to head north towards the chain. Any force they send south should be small enough with us to deal with. Tomorrow then, as soon as we get back from the minefield. The reset of course will give our location completely away. Don't worry. I'll sabotage it before I make the jump. Okay.
Stayed behind to sabotage the panel. No, he wasn't supposed to stay behind. Come on. That wasn't part of the plan. Cora, we can't stay here. Come on. You're an anomaly, Jack. The soldier who betrayed his own, the guard who protected his prisoners, the scum. Who helped them escape? Now tell me, before this gets ugly, where do you send them? Don't make this harder for yourself, Owens. Where? I said where? There you shot out. We came for our man. 